Hi Sagittarius, this is your Just Cause reading for January 2022, Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Sagittarius for January 2022 in love, Universal Energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Sagittarius. For January 2022, in love, universal energies. Show me what I need to see for the star sign of Sagittarius. For January 2022, in love, show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment and share these videos if this does not resonate with you check your moon rising and venus sign videos i do not read reversals so sagittarius this is the mutual point of interest between you and your partner. Maybe you mention it to your partner and it's on both you guys' minds. Maybe your partner mentioned it to you and it's on both you guys' minds. Or some external source has both you and your partner feeling this way, thinking this way, or wanting to take this action. This is the mutual point of interest between you, Sag. This is you. This is your partner. So, Sag, I want to say that no matter where these cards fall, it can be vice versa or someone in you guys' environment. For January 2022, the mutual point of interest between you and your partner, Sag, is the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This queen is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. So Sag could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with Earth prominent in their chart. However, when we're dealing with the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. Queen of Pentacles is a nurturing, mothering energy. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Sagittarius and their partner. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Sagittarius and their partner. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Sagittarius and their partner. It is clarified with the Seven of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being defensive. You're on the defense. But this can also speak to you being put in a position where you're having to defend yourself against rumors, gossip, and other people's opinions. Now, this can be you shutting someone, fighting someone off, setting boundaries with someone. But this is also an accusatory card. So you could be being accused of some type of rumors and gossip, and you're giving your defense or excuse here. So, Sag, listen, you know, you could be dealing with this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, this spouse, this parent of your child, someone you work with or do business with here. And one of you guys here are maybe standoffish, shunning, and setting boundaries. Or someone is being accused and they're trying to explain, give their explanation, excuse, or defense here. Sag, you have the Two of Wands. You have the Five of Swords. You have the Ace of Cups. Hmm. Your partner has the Three of Swords. Your partner has the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands. Yes, yeah, Seven of Wands. And your partner has the High Priestess. So, Sag. The mutual point of interest in what's on both you guys' minds is, listen, could be dealing with this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the spouse, this parent of your child, someone you have some type of resources or stability with. You know, someone here could very well be defensive, you know, trying to explain, give their explanation or excuse here because they're being accused. Or someone here is kind of standoffish and shunning and setting boundaries. Sad, you have the two of wands. 
Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being at a crossroads, needing to pick a path between two. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? I don't know. So Sag, listen, I feel like you have to make a decision here. You have to pick a path or decide. Clarify the two of wands for Sagittarius. Clarify the two of wands for Sagittarius. Clarify the two of wands for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the three of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we are reunited and it feels so good. Let's go out, eat, drink, and be merry and celebrate. Celebrate that we're reunited and it feels so good. But this can also speak to there being a third party situation going on. Now, Sag, listen, you can tell me that you're trying to decide whether or not to reunite with this partner. You can tell me that you're trying to figure out where to go from here because this partner had a third party. Or Sag, you yourself have a third party and you need to choose between the two. Sag, you have the Five of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is tit for tat, tug of war, one up and one another, snide remarks, having the last say, speaking ill of one another behind each other's back, backstabbing one another. This is playing mind games, ego tripping, trying to win at all costs. So sad, you guys may have had this tit for tat tug of war, toe to toe going on. Very well, could have been some mind games and manipulation here. Or you're telling me you have an axe to grind. Clarify the five of swords for Sagittarius. Clarify the five of swords for Sagittarius. Clarify the five of swords for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the nine of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is wish fulfillment. But this can also speak to you feeling smug or overindulging in alcohol or substance abuse. Now, Sag, listen, you can tell me because of the back and forth, tit for tat, tug of war, mind games, and manipulation, you could be overindulging here. But listen, when we're dealing with the Five of Swords, <clears throat> this can be spiteful, vengeful energy. And you very well could be feeling smug in this situation, Sag. Sag, you have the Ace of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is a brand new beginning in love, a brand new beginning in a deep emotional connection. This is love overflowing, a brand new blessing, a brand new beginning in love, Sag. So Sag, you have a blessing, you may have new love, or this can be starting new. Clarify the Ace of Cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the Ace of Cups. For Sagittarius. Clarify the Ace of Cups for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Nine of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being guarded and standing your ground. You have a stance. You meant what you said. You said what you meant. You're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, eye to eye, or anything. But this is also a card of you saying, you know what? I'm tired. I'm wounded. I'm down for the count. But I still have a little fight in me left. I'm not giving up being persistent but this is also a card of you having your walls up your guards up you're not trusting a little suspicious a little paranoid here so sag listen you know is it that you're a little guarded here on starting new with this partner do you highly suspect that they have new love and this is the reason why you're trying to figure out should you get a third party what's going on here hmm Sag, I feel like you may be kind of standoffish with this person here, okay? You may have stability with this person. Sag, your partner has the three of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is heartbreak. This is pain. This is suffering. This is agony caused by a third party situation. So when I say third party, yes, a romantic third party. But this could also be meddling family members, friends, co-workers, neighbors, anyone being involved in you guys' relationship that shouldn't be, that is causing your partner heartbreak. So sad, your partner seems to be hurt. Their feelings could be hurt, but they could also feel like you have a third party. Clarify the three of swords for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the three of swords for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the three of swords for Sagittarius' partner. The moon. 
Could be dealing with a Pisces. But the moon symbolizes secrets or things that are not yet known. It can symbolize moodiness, depression, vivid dreams, deep emotions, intuition, but secrets. Sag, could be dealing with a Pisces, but your partner could tell me that, hey, I'm in the dark concerning something here. They can tell me that they're using their intuition or there was a secret. Clarify the moon for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the moon for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the moon for Sagittarius' partner. It is clarified with the Knight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone coming into your partner or your partner coming in to apologize, to offer their cup of love and make the romantic gesture. So someone is saying, I'm sorry. Someone is trying to heal things, mend things, work things out. May even be coming in with a romantic gesture, Sag. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Sagittarius' partner. Hmm. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Sagittarius' partner. It is clarified with the Nine of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is your partner saying with, without, or in spite of anyone. I alone, in my own right, am abundant, self-sufficient, independent, and single. I'm single. So, Sag, is it that your partner was coming in trying to apologize or coming in with maybe some type of proposal here and you hurt them? Because they're finding out maybe there's a secret, there's someone else here. Did you turn them down, Sag? Hmm. Huh. 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 Sag. Your partner has a seven of wands. Aries, Leora, Sag. This is your partner being defensive. They're on the defense. But this can also speak to them being put in a position where they're having to defend themselves against rumors, gossip, and other people's opinions. And this can be your partner shunning someone, fighting someone off, setting boundaries with someone. But this is also an accusatory card. So your partner could be being accused of some type of rumors and gossip and they're giving their defense or excuse here. So Sag, either your partner is standoff is shunning and setting boundaries with you or they're trying to come in and explain or give their explanation or excuse and plead their case here. Clarify the seven of wands for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the seven of wands for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the seven of wands for Sagittarius' partner. Are you about to marry somebody else, Sag? This is you, Sag. Temperance. The universe is cautioning your partner to be patient, to heal, and to remain balanced. That any decision that they make, it needs to be a careful blending of the head and the heart. Now, when we're dealing with temperance, temperance is about healing, harmony, being willing to compromise, but also reconciliation. But Sag, this is you. Clarify temperance for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify temperance. For Sagittarius's partner. What does Sagittarius's partner think of Sag? What does Sagittarius's partner think of Sag? Clarify temperance for Sagittarius's partner. <clears throat> Two of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag, this is you being at a crossroads, needing to pick a path between two. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? I don't know. So Sag, your partner thinks that you have to make a decision, that you have to pick a path, and they may be setting boundaries with you, saying, you know, it's going to be this way. Either we're going into some type of commitment here and you turn them down. Either we get in a commitment or we're done, or you choose this person or me. It's some type of choice you have to make, Sag. Sag, your partner has the high priestess, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is she who knows. She who knows. This is the keeper of the hidden secrets, keeper of the hidden knowledge. The universe is calling for your partner to use their intuition. But they may know something that they're keeping to themselves. Now, the high priestess keeps silent, so it's a good chance that you guys aren't speaking to one another right now. So, Sag, yes, your partner could tell me that you guys aren't speaking to one another right now. Your partner could tell me that they're using their intuition or they're keeping a secret. Clarify the high priestess for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the high priestess for Sagittarius' partner. 
clarify the high priestess for Sagittarius's partner. It is clarified with you, Sag, Aries, or Leo, the King of Wands. This king is a very charming, charismatic character, someone who's admired by many. This is a leader, a go-getter, a take-charge type of energy, someone who sets out on many objectives and usually accomplishes them with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. So, Sag, this is you. Clarify the King of Wands for Sagittarius's partner. Clarify the King of Wands for Sagittarius's partner. What does Sagittarius's partner think of Sag? What does Sagittarius's partner think of Sag? Clarify the King of Wands for Sagittarius's partner. It is clarified with the magician. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but you're trying to manifest, trying to make something happen. And you have all the tools and resources available to you to manifest whatsoever you will. You have the fire element, the air element, the water element, the earth element, and the ethers. So with great focus and intent, you can manifest. Sag could be dealing with an Aquarius, but I asked your partner, what do they think of you? They may think that you're trying to make something happen or they're trying to make something happen with you. Clarify the magician for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the magician for Sagittarius' partner. Clarify the magician for Sagittarius' partner. It is clarified with <clears throat> the Ace of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is a brand new opportunity of something more solid, stable, and secure coming into your partner. Now, this can be an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value, brand new practical beginnings. So Sag, it seems like your partner is using their intuition here because they're wanting to manifest some type of commitment with you. Here's the commitment, but did you turn them down here? Did you say no, Sag? Because we could have had just cause to celebrate with this commitment and you're like, mm, I don't know, I don't know. But you can tell me that you don't know because you have a third party here. You have someone else. You have new love. And it may be some love here that you're guarding here, Sag. So I feel like you turn them down, Sag. I feel like you, Sag, may be against some type of stability with this person. But Sag, I feel like your partner is setting boundaries and saying all or nothing here because they want some type of commitment here, Sag. This is your Just Cause reading for January 2022. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.